Ladies and gentlemen, we are at 1924 with our braised pigeon. Yes. So what we've done is we've created this amazing epigram. So we made the pigeon uh, legs into confit. We glued them together with our pigeon reduction. And then we paneed them through flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs, and we have them right here. Remember, when you're plating this, this is very slippery. Yeah, because it has an external crust that's very firm. So if you're gonna place it, you wanna make sure you're placing it onto a little sauce. So immediately you put that on, that's gonna sit, and it's going to glue itself onto the plate. You follow me? So this is our first, our first presentation for this. It's our epigram. We're gonna serve our um, pigeon breast, which we've taken the both breasts. We've stuffed them with a little duxelle and a little bit of stuffing made with bacon. Yes, we've wrapped the breasts with bacon, and now we have this lovely looking um, piece of complete breast, which is completely wrapped and ready for tourneying. Now we have a nice carrot potato mash, which we're just gonna pick up and place on the plate on the other side. Now, we're trying to make this into a reasonable quenelle, but it's gonna be kind of disguised, so I'm not concerned too much about its shape. I'm gonna take some tornade rutabagas, drop a few on here. Occasionally, we have a little tiny bit of broccolini. I'm gonna place that right on there. Another rutabaga. Make sure that you can get some nice shape into this. A nice piece of broccolini here. One more, kind of strewn over the edge of the plate as part of your garnish. This is more of a modern technique of garnishing, yes? But this is going to be eventually the vegetable for this dish. I'm gonna drop that last piece of rutabaga right in here. And then I'm gonna take my raisins. So you remember we started with the raisins. We made a reduction of port and sour cream, uh, a port and red wine, a little brown sugar, then we soaked them. Then we took them off, we brought them back to the boil, we added our rosemary and our thyme. Then we added to our sauce, and then we reboiled our sauce and they bloomed again. So these raisins are absolutely incredible in flavor. I wanna take my uh, pigeon breast and I wanna carve it. And I wanna get three nice pieces. Nice crispy bacon on the bottom, which is kinda gonna stop me from carving it accurately. But just force your knife through. Then you're gonna take your three slices. You're gonna place them on top of your epigram. Like so. Turn them around a little tiny bit. The ends obviously for the chef. Yes. <laughs> then you're gonna take the rest of your sauce. You're gonna sauce this plate. Remember this sauce is going to be for the whole of your dish. So you've gotta make sure that there's enough on. We're doing it in a small beaker. Make sure you get plenty of sauce. I like this beautiful red currant sauce. It's got beautiful color. Yes, get that down. And then we're gonna take our raisins and we're gonna drop our raisins occasionally in our presentation. Remember these raisins are just bursting with flavor. So we've got all this wonderful, rich, candied flavor in here. Yes, so we've got the sweetness, we've got a little sour, we've got the beautiful smoky bacon, we've got the salty part of the confit, follow me? And then we're gonna take our Palm Maxime and our Maxime is just gonna go straight on here. And these are praised pigeon dish, yes? Now we're gonna make a few more for ourselves and then we're gonna hopefully sell 12, yes? We're celebrating 1924, boys and girls. 90 years ago, yes? Okay, boys and girls, let's go. We're ready to serve it.